God bless you all. You are welcome to my YouTube channel, Pastor Charity Eige. Please, if this is your first time you are watching me, or it's not your first time or you have been watching me before, but you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please kindly hit the subscription button, subscribe, like, comment, and share our video. Now, this is what I bought at the African market, you guys remember? So, I'm here and I'm going to be cooking soup with it. I'm going to be using the goat meat and this cow shrimp to cook my soup. Um, my granola, these are all the things. I ate one already and I bought two, but I ate one already. I'm home now, I want to start cooking. So, yeah, we go cook with me. As I make this soup, I'm going to make, I'm still contemplating if I should cook or bolo or melon. But I don't know which one will pick yet. But I will definitely take you guys through. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I should do so. God bless you. This is my goat meat. I bought from the Africa shop. So I'm, I'm going to be using it to cook up bolo. I've decided what I'm going to cook. I'm going to use it to cook up bolo soup. So this is what we're going to be doing. But first time, first thing I'm going to do now is to wash I'll, I'll make sure I scrub off all these brown things. I don't like them on my goat's meat. All this brown skin. I'm going to be showing you guys example. I'm going to scrape them off. Did you see it? Yes. I'm going to scrape all of them. That's what I'm going to do. Did you see? And so long I can scrape them off. I don't like it. I just scrape them off. Then when I finish, I put them inside. Take another one again. All these ones. That's what I'm gonna do for all of them. So all the dead black spots, they go away. So I'm gonna do everything like that. All the old goat meat. Put it in a bowl. wash my goat meat make sure I scrub all this brown stuff I know because they roasted the goat it's okay but I don't just like it yeah make all the dirt go off this one is okay it doesn't need to see okay a little part is here After this, I'm going to wash it with lime, lime and hot water. That's what I'm going to use to wash it. This one is good, just nothing. Same thing with this, nothing. This one, just a little. Now I finish scrubbing all the skin. You can see it looks beautiful and clean. Do you see it? So I will just rinse, wash.
I always like to use lime. Yes, to wash my meat to make it more cleaner and to salt. I also use salt. I use salt. Just put some salt to make sure they clean all the bacteria and everything is out of it. Then. I'm using hot water. This is my cow tribes. Mmm, nice. Clean. Add it to it. Take the other one. Squeeze. Because of the seed. Did you see the seed? See them? So I don't want this seed inside my soup. That's why I do it like this. Push it very hard. Mm, yes. Now take your, if you see anything like this, just take your hand, pull it off. Now this one is clean. You see it? Keep it. If you see anything you don't like, just rip it off. Take it off. Yes. Good. Now I put it on the fire. It's on the fire. Then the next thing we're going to do, just seasoning. Whatsoever thing you know you use to season your goat meat, go ahead, use it. Yes. I'm putting my thyme, my bay leaf, anything you know you can use to season your goat meat, go ahead, use it. Salt, I'm putting my salt. That should be enough. Put in my curry. Also enough. I'm using my all purple season. All purple season. All purple. You can use it for anything. I'm going to be putting my no magi. Yup. This normal gay is straight all the way from Africa, Nigeria. When my husband went to Nigeria, I brought them. So I'm using all these. All these ingredients are from Nigeria. So it should be enough for me by now. Just to season this. That should be it. Then my onions is coming. As you desire your onions, you put as much as you want, just put it. Then add little water, little, little water, not much water. This is the water, I'm going to put this. So, so that these ingredients will go inside, dry, straight inside the meat, the goat meat and the cow shrimp tribes. Then after the ingredients are soaked in, we're coming back to add more water so that the meat can cook properly. 
just take the lid and cover it and leave it for like uh, 10 minutes and come back and add more water so this is uh ogbolo. i'm gonna be using this ogbolo to cook the ogbolo my husband brought from nigeria you see is much even a goosey and so many other uh africa food he brought but i'm just gonna cook ogbolo today i guess this is too much and i love this ogbolo because it's so clean yes it's not like don't we'll buy an africa shop here in america it's whole tasteless and dirty but this one has good taste. Yes. All the way from Nigeria. Did you see it? So this one should be enough for me. I'll show you guys to see. I will be using this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it inside here and put hot water. Soak it with hot water so that all this dead or brown stuff will go away. Like this one, I throw it away. Oh, it's ogbolo. It's good. Look at it. It's good. <laughs> I'll use auto time and wash it. Yeah, but yes, all good. So, I think I'll have a little more. Just a little more. I think this should be okay. I'm not going to put okra. I'm just going to make everything only ogbolo soup. Then add a little bitter leaf. Dry bitter leaf. My husband brought from Africa. Nigeria. We just had it. That's it. So I'm going to put hot water and soak it for like five minutes. Yes, let it be there so that all this brown thing or dirt will go away. Did you see it? I always like washing my bolo. I just leave it there, soak it for some few minutes. Five minutes if it's too much. Don't let it be more than five minutes. You can boil hot water and just pour it. But thank God America have both hot water and cold water. So it's easier for me to use hot water. All this one they're going to go away. Just leave it. Five minutes I'll come back for it. So did you see the color now? I'm back. Five minutes. Did you see the water? How dirty the water is now? So just, you see, you see, it become more beautiful. Did you see it? Oh, see dirty water. Did you see it? So I, I always like to soak it. This one is clean too now. Then just use your finger and do like this. And that's it. Take uh, out all the dirty. So we're going to rinse it one more time. Drain, see? Let me drain it out for you. You're going to show the dirty water. You see, see how dirty is the water. So I'm gonna rinse just one more time. Then after that, I rinse again with hot water. While it's soaking, let me gonna let me rinse this my blender. I'm gonna put it right inside my blender now. Everything I do, I use hot water. So good to go. Let me get. If you still desire, I can wash it one more time. But I'm gonna wash it one more time. This is how I wash my ogbono. To take out all the gems, dirty water, bacterias, any fly, fly pressure on it, anything at all. Whatsoever that touch it while they were picking it, harvesting it, I will wash them off. You see how clean now and how fresh it is. You see the water is more clearer. Did you see? Did you, see you see it now? You see it now?
suot. See the water is now more clear now. You see the water? always like to use this one to add this to it I always like to use it crayfish is good for the body for your head also gonna wrist it put it right inside inside straight no dirt I'm trying to look for if there's any dirt no dirt so what do I do oh, found one. take it out rinse it and there you go I'm good to go Hot water again. I always like using hot water. Okay. Take it. Water. This one is enough. Close it. Close it properly, properly. So we're gonna blend it smooth. stop it smooth now that's it so continue to our goat meat so right now i'm gonna go ahead and put my red oil put red oil for me yes i'm gonna put it according to your desire so i'm gonna use red oil according to your desire you can put the red oil and put your grounded pepper. You're gonna put your grounded pepper, yes. As you desire it, just take your ground bell pepper. You see it? Grounded pepper to spice it a little bit to your desire. To your desire. Because my kids will be eating from this food. I'm not gonna put much. I'll add a little more oil to it because my bolo gonna go inside very soon. And now, just stir, stir it, stir it, leave it for about like more twenty minutes. Then come and put your grounded ogbono. You see it. For about 20 minutes. Whoa. So take your bolo, just we're gonna stir the grander dog bolo is so thick, you see it. So we're gonna stir it. If you want to add more water to it, add more water to it. Just keep stirring and stirring until the whole grounded ogbolo dissolve. You can add more water to it. I just add to add water to the remaining one in the pot in the blender. So 
I'm gonna give you some few minutes for you gonna dissolve. I bet you're gonna dissolve. Very yummy, wow. You see, need to have some few water. Add more water to it. We're gonna have more water to it. So I can dissolve more. Then gonna leave it again for some minutes. We're gonna come back again so like 10 minutes by then it should dissolve. Wow, I can't wait to eat it and lick my hand. The only thing left is to have dry bitter leaf and ugu leaf, which is punky leaf. So that's it. As my goat's meat. And my cow tribes. Just leave it, let it cook. I'm going to be adding this to it. Did you see it? Big, uh, small shrimp. Did you see? I told you it's going to dissolve. It's already dissolving. Did you see it? So we're going to add this one to it. So give me that Nigeria vibe taste. You see it. This is how I make my ogbolo soup. If you like, you use fresh shrimp. If you like, you use the dry one. I just use the dry one from Africa, Nigeria. So you can use a fresh one. America has the fresh one. Go to any shop and take fresh shrimp and put. That's it. I'm done. But what I'm going to add to it, I'm going to be adding uh, my bitter leaf. Dry bitter leaf. I don't joke with it in Ogbolo. Give it a nice taste too. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. So I'm going to be adding one more Maggie Q. I 
I will just add one. Yes, I need it. One more. With a little salt. That's it. We're done. Just close it half. Don't close it too much. Just half a little bit. That's it. Let me go prepare my leaf. It's my son singing. Don't worry. <laughs> they are hungry already. So, yeah, I have my bitter leaf. It's already prepared. I don't need to wash it. Just open. It's already washed from Africa. They washed it to take away all the bitterness and dried it for me. So I will just take, you see? That's what I'm going to take. This one should be enough. Because if I put too much, <laughs> I don't want it to be too bitter. Just do it like this. It's going to give you beautiful color. Did you see that? It's gonna give you beautiful, nice color and a little bitter taste. Reduce the I want to reduce the stove. So I'm not gonna burn my soup for me. I reduced this already behind. So Did you see? My soup don't throw away. Oh. Did you see how beautiful the soup is? Did you see the color? The bitter leaf on top. Did you see it? I'll show you very well. Did you see? Did you see? Wow. So I'm done cooking. I'm going to make wheat to swallow my soup. Please, I want you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you know you love my videos, please subscribe and share. Thank you. So now I'm going to be using wheat to make wheat to eat my ogbolo soup. So I'm going to make sure I'm going to be using this same blender. So blend it, just put it, I don't need to wash it, you don't wash wheat, put it straight. That's why you got to preserve it very well so that nothing will crawl in or enter. Just put one more. I'm going to be using, blending this one too, add water to it. That is enough. So I'm just going to be blending it. Should be okay. I blend one more time. Just pour it inside your pot. So just pour the second one. I just make two. 
put the pot on the stove then I'm going to on and you have to use your woundy stick to keep stirring it until you know it's cooked and done so what you just have to do is just stir until it become thick and brown this one is meek color now no let it become brown you see it's becoming thick a little bit did you see it just keep stirring take your time no hurry so just keep you just see now it's sticking and it's brown now you see it's brown now it's sticking now and it's brown so you see it i will just keep I love wheat. It's easy for you to go to rest when you eat wheat and it's filling. And all done. It's cook. Wheat is ready to eat to serve. That's it. Ready to go. So I'm just gonna cut my wheat. Did you see it? Oh yeah. That's it. Add one more to it. should be enough that's it time to eat Ogbolo is all that's how you know good dog bolo they always draw woohoo that's that one should be enough This one is not only me, I don't think it's only me, it's me and my family. So the table is set, you can see it, I'm good to go. My wheat and my delicious Nigeria Ogbolo soup. Hmm, wow. And the chicken I just fried, so. Let me see if it's sweet. See it? It's out. You see the color? It's dripping. So beautiful and nice. Mm. One more. Eat with me, please. 
Mm. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Pastor Charity Ege, and try it out and comment and give me your feedback if you love it or not. Bye. Oh, yeah, you can see we finished eating. Yeah, we downloaded it. And so yummy and tasty.